G'day YouTube. This video I'm making is for a project I'm about to undertake. I was given a set of these speakers here. They're a Logitech X-530. Um, actually pretty good speakers. They're a 5.1 system, so there's the sub, uh, front, two, rear two, and a center. Um, actually, they sound really good. I was actually given this uh, to me by a friend who didn't need them anymore. They were broken. I've got them working again. Uh, one issue that they had was the uh, volume control on the main speaker had uh, been snapped off. But uh, my friend before, uh, who had this before, he actually took the volume control out after it broke and put in trim pots. And then they were working again. Uh, then they stopped. And the issue was actually the 3.5 mil audio jacks. Um, they're damaged. Only one of them was working. Um, and since I have plans for this anyway, I don't need them, so that's fine. Uh, to test things out tonight, I've actually just soldered on some cabling onto where the jack's connected and joined them all up to one jack uh, to plug into my iPhone. So by doing that, I've had all the speakers working really well. Uh, so my plan for this isn't actually to plug my iPhone in. It's to turn this into a standalone MP3 player and a Bluetooth receiver. So to do that, I've just purchased this from eBay. It's, it's about 12 or 13 Australian dollars. Um, it'll probably take a month to get here, but I'm not really in a rush. Uh, so what this is, is a, uh, it's a MP3 decoder board with Bluetooth uh, and FM radio. So uh, you get the front panel here, it's got SD card slot, and a USB port and uh, it's also got a Bluetooth module in it and uh, FM so uh, the idea is to have that mounted in the sub uh, about so let's step back a bit so you see what the sub so the sub looks like that I'm thinking of putting it about here and then that way hopefully uh, you just you know, go up to this unit pop in a USB stick and hit play on the remote, or on the unit itself, there is a little play button. I had a look at quite a few of these on eBay, this one seems like the best. Uh, almost bought one that had a uh, one of those like really small uh, SD cards, a micro SD card I think they're called. Um, and then I found this with a full size slot, so I was happy about that. Um, anyway, so I've watched videos about these on YouTube, they actually seem really good, and I mean for 10 or 15 bucks or whatever it is, I don't care if it doesn't work that well. Um, so, the reason I've had this out here is because I've been poking around with my multimeter to try and work out how I'm going to power this thing. Um, I've noticed that uh, there's, I think it was about 15 or so volts AC coming in from the transformer, and um, if I, I test it up here at the capacitor with my multimeter and found I'm getting around 18 volts DC and when this whole thing is turned up all the way it drops to about 14 and a half volts so to drop that down to the 12 volts that this unit needs I've also purchased a um, voltage regulator uh, from what I've read about this one on the internet its cutoff voltage should be two volts more than I need, so 14 volts, so it should be okay even at max volume, it shouldn't cut out or anything. Now that's a theory anyway, I guess we'll see how that goes. Um, I've worked out I probably won't need a heat sink, because even when the volume on this is down all the way, um, therefore when the voltage is at 18 volts here. Um, I've worked out with the power drawn by the MP3 uh, decoder, that it should only be about 1.2 watts of heat generated, so I shouldn't need a heat sink for this. So let's hope that'll work out. Um, so that's basically my idea at the moment. I've ordered the parts, they'll come in in probably a month or so. Um, and then, yeah, so the idea is to have the board in here. The other thing I was thinking is since all of the other speakers connect, well, it's just audio out, and then the front speaker that had the volume control has a special connector on it, and that's because it's got a uh, circuit board in there. I'm thinking I'll put the circuit board inside the case as well, and uh, what I'll do is since these are the uh, where are we there? these are the, the pins for this, what I might do is just everything that is normally coming from there, 
I'll desolder and uh, solder into the correct positions here so the board can actually be inside with this and then I'll just use the really big cable that came with it, this this one to only carry just a single like I guess just two wires it would be just the single channel to that uh, speaker again so then this speaker should have uh, no volume no power button nothing it'll all be in here and uh, for power I'm thinking of just putting a switch uh, power switch on the front or maybe on the back just to cut off the 240 AC directly so I'll just put it on the, uh, the brown one the active line uh, and just give it a power switch and that way you turn it off it's completely off not using any power turn it on amp comes on and the decoder board will come on um, it would be a sub control still going to have the sub control here and uh, volume and then the uh, track and everything will be controlled by this unit there's a volume using the remote and apparently with the skip button um, I don't know how hard it's going to be to navigate the menus on this thing considering there's four buttons and about a million functions but I guess we'll see but uh, in theory this shouldn't be too hard and uh, should be relatively cheap so he's hoping it all goes well I guess uh, in a month or so when the stuff comes in I'll be making another video of me uh, testing out this and then uh, eventually putting it all together so uh, yeah hopefully that works out see ya